All right, friends, welcome back to our two perspective drawing. Uh, today, we are going to make sure that we're following this. Draw light until you know it's right, then go darker or trace with marker. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. We have drawn nice and light. We feel that we have it right, and now we're ready to trace with marker. But with tracing with the marker, we wanna make sure that we're using our ruler still on any straight edge that we have. We've got these beautiful, perfectly straight lines that we drew with our pencil. We wanna make sure the same thing happens with our marker. So anytime you have a straight line with your marker, use your ruler, draw that nice, sharp, straight line with your ruler. Now that we have that completed, we need to go back with our eraser and really make sure that we clean up all these little lines that we have. Because we traced in Sharpie, the eraser is going to do a really good job of making sure all that graphite that is still notwithstanding is gone. All right, now that we've erased all those lines and it's made it really nice and clean, now we're ready to start really decorating our letters. Uh, thinking about the uh, kind of pattern or repetition that you want to add. Uh, making sure that you switch it up every letter so that we can really distinguish each letter. Like my E and my R kind of blend together in this space right here, you're not quite sure what's going on. So once I have my uh, E all the way colored and have it separate from the R, you're going to be able to see the difference. Uh, I'm choosing my uh, color and then I'm thinking about this perspective as I'm adding in my repetition. So I'm going to be doing just lines just to show you. I want to be thinking about that perspective still even in the design. So my lines here are going back towards that vanishing point that I had before. I can see it still from the block letters of the lines I have. As I come down, my lines kind of straighten out to be horizontal, and then as they go down, notice I'm making them more diagonal again to match up with the lines I already have from my E. Then if I want these lines to continue on the side of my E, I need to think about those lines going to the opposite vanishing point. So as they would be going down, there'd be a drastic diagonal line to match up with the lines on this side of my E. Going less, more horizontal, and now going even more drastic again with that diagonal line to match up with this line at the bottom. Now with the underside of my E, I'm going to go ahead and just color it in green just so that we can really see the difference between where the letter is and where there's a negative empty space. So this is all belonging to my E. That's the top part of the E as it goes back into space. And then the same thing down here, in that little spot right there. And this, that's all part of my E. Now I did my E in green, so now I'm gonna change it up and do a different color for the next letter so you can really tell them apart. So again with the R, the line needs to be diagonal to match that perspective. As it goes towards the middle of the R, it's more horizontal. All right, now that I've done the uh, two sides of my R, I'm gonna do that inside, just coloring it blue so that we can see the full block letter as it goes back into space.
So there we have it, friends. Uh, we have colored it. We have added some designs to it. Think about repetition. Think about uh, using some kind of unity in your work. Also, don't forget about doing textures and values, all those good things that we've practiced through each unit of study.